Ndiabot. Amor, dara ludur sa dush. Parce que tamet, muno gado tuzo sa edom, di lian yobu foreba. Amor, wan dusa, amor, wan dara, dusa pot dona man. Dak sunu doale defa demul wan nono. Amor, nanyu wai toalet yu kila wan dek, bu inondasi mo binye we nagla. Il m'a dit presque tout ça. Il m'a dit qu'il n'y a pas de 4 ans, il n'y a pas de toilette presque. À l'heure du monde, 2,5 millions de personnes, y compris 610 millions en sub-Saharan Afrique, n'ont encore pas accès accès aux toilettes. Au Sénégal, près de 70% de la population régionale de Dakar, près de 1,5 millions de personnes, utilisent des sanitations sanitaires en site pour le management de la eau domestique, according to the Dakar Sanitation Major Plan for 2025. However, this proportion increases significantly if we consider only the departments of Pekin and Gidiaway. In the study, 98.2% of the population relies on on-site sanitation for wastewater management. The presence of water in an episodic manner or whole year round in the concessions makes it difficult for the practicability of the toilet. The study showed that toilets are often damaged in two-thirds of households and are flooded throughout the rainy season, while a third of households are flooded throughout the year, hence the relevance of finding suitable facilities. We have been aware that there is a necessity to put in place a new adapted for the population, which the latrines and the fosses have been compromised for a very long time by the inundations. These people have been able to develop strategies of village, mais on se rend compte qu'ils ne sont pas dans le circuit. Alors notre objectif, c'est d'abord de leur trouver des ouvrages adaptés et maintenant de réfléchir à la mise en place de stratégies pour une prise en charge adéquate de ces ouvrages. C'est pourquoi cette composante que nous avons confiée à Oxfam America est très importante. Oxfam, in its search for innovative toilets, has initiated a new approach in the sanitary engineering sector. Indeed, specific environmental and socio-technical criteria have been developed to direct the construction of sanitation facilities adapted to these difficult areas. The criteria are essentially the criteria that are linked to the conditions environmental, physical and geophysical of the zone of Pekin and de Gaiwai. When we have seen these ouvrages, we have done what we call the unit of geophysical of the zone, with an analysis of the soil and of the water, to know what are the conditions real of these zones, but also their physical quality qualité physique qui va nous permettre de savoir quels sont les matériaux qui sont adaptés dans ces zones-là. In Pekin and Gediawai, the criteria defining the settlement area corresponds to areas where the groundwater level is less than one meter, areas where soils have a low infiltration capacity, and areas with an absence or a bad network to evacuate rainwater. Among the major criteria defining the characteristics of the toilet is the ability of the structure to withstand an average of 10 people using at least 2 litres of water a day per person, the availability of materials for its implementation at the local level and how it fits within Senegalese standards, the integration of a water system as the majority of users use the water for anal cleansing and the affordability of the toilet. These criteria have been to elaborate the term of reference. Donc c'est sur la base de ce terme de référence qu'on a lancé un premier appel d'offres international. On n'a pas eu de gagnants. On a eu, reçu plus de 24 euh, firmes qui ont, qui ont postulé et aucune de ces 24 firmes ne, ne correspondait vraiment aux critères que nous, avons, que, nous, que nous avions établis. Donc on a lancé un second appel d'offres et qui correspondait à, 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 à la journée internationale de toilettes à, à Delhi, en Inde, où on a envoyé des experts qui sont allés distribuer ces TDR. Et à la suite de cela, on a reçu 14 firmes qui ont soumissionné. Various meetings by the Evaluation Commission led to the selection of two toilet prototypes Biofilcom by a Ghanaian firm and Sunnybreeze Technology by a Chinese company. Visiting Senegal was very important for the firms in the process because this allowed them to present their technology to the Commission and visit the project sites and identify local equipment and materials that could be used for their technology. The firms were left with a series of questions which were very important for improving their prototypes before testing. The biofuel toilet system is an aerobic process. Big difference. What happens with the biofuel toilet system is with the flush, including the waste, the water, the water part is quickly separated. And the waste is at a point in which it's always aerobic. Oxygen gets to it all the time. 
So you look at this system, it's only the top portion that treats the waste. The biofuel toilet system is affordable. It's affordable. The price will only continue to come down. Aujourd'hui, il faut il faut créer, il faut de la création, il faut quand même innover. Et tel est le cas. L'innovation est, est technologique ici et aussi il y a le marché aussi qui est, qui est là, donc euh, qui va faire de telle sorte que tous ces ouvrages pourront être euh, disséminés dans, sur l'ensemble du territoire. Douze bidets font des clous à monter ici, mais d'après mes idées, ils m'ont déjà un milliard. Je ne sais pas si je suis en train de faire parce que je ne sais pas si je suis en train de faire Parce que si je suis en train de faire ça, je ne sais pas si je suis en train de faire ça. Parce que je ne sais pas si je suis en train de faire ça. Apart from the Sunny Breeze technology that will be tested, the technical committee, with the support of external experts, is looking for a local technology adapted to these flooded and flood prone areas. Discussions are ongoing with the program coordinating unit in order to include a technology to reinvent the toilet that will be tested here in Dakar. <laughs>